Hey everybody, Rich Lavelle, Master Instructor with Epstein Hitting System. And I want to talk a little bit today about mindset. And I'm going to meander through this a little bit, so stay with me, it'll make sense in the end. What I'm basically talking about is really the development of a player, the development of a hitter. You may have a player that you may be thinking to yourself, there is no way this kid's ever going to make Major League Baseball, much less his high school team. And if you're a coach or a parent that thinks that, I would caution you to say, keep it to yourself. And I, I know most people do, but there are some that just say, you know what, go play soccer. And I, I've said that on a video before, but I say that in jest. And what I tell all my hitters is, if you have a desire to play baseball, if you have a desire to improve, improve this much every day. By the end of the week, you're that much better. By the end of the month, you're that much better. By the end of the year, that, you're that much better. There's a really great uh, mental hitting coach, if you want to call him, that talks about no one knows when you're actually going to start developing. And he's basically talking about physical stature. That's true, but no one also knows when you're going to start developing the understanding of the game. There are some kids that at six and seven years old, you look at them and go, wow, he's a he has a natural instinct for what to do on the field. Then there are other kids that go out every day and they practice that move to the right. They practice that move to the left. They practice dropping back. They, they practice everything. It's very mechanical in the beginning, but after some great amount of time, could be a year, two years, four years, five years down the road, all of a sudden you start seeing them, instead of a really mechanical move, all of a sudden it's a flow or drop my bat for a moment, or instead of running across the outfield with both hands up because they were taught from a very young age, catch the hand, you know, catch the ball with two hands, then you see them at 12 years old, after you've seen them when, since they were nine or 10, they finally start reaching out here to catch a ball like this so that they make a good play. So don't stunt a player's growth during his development by saying he's just not gonna make it. Continue playing. Go to a cage, work on hitting, just take swings, because eventually what's going to happen, and a good friend of mine, Ron Sullivan out in Texas, another one of the master instructors, did a video on um, something about uh, selection. And if we think about that, opposed to natural selection, I believe is what he talked about, ultimately what's going to happen, those players that continue to work, continue to work, continue to get better, they're going to continue to advance where the guys that don't continue to work are finally going to get cold out or basically fall out of that particular sport. And that, that applies to anything. So if you're a player, listen to this. Continue striving, continue working, continue learning. Be a student of the game. Don't give up regardless of what anyone else says. If you have a desire to play, continue playing. Take it as far as you can. If you don't make your high school team, then go play Babe Ruth or American Legion or join a travel team that still wants to develop. Get involved in an academy that wants to develop baseball players. If you're that kid that has two left feet and falls down all the time, maybe reconsider. But if you're that kid that you've seen that you've improved and your parents have noticed that you've improved and you want to continue playing baseball, don't let anybody tell you that you can't. Don't tell anybody or don't let anyone tell you that you can't hit a curveball. Don't let anyone tell you that you can't hit a fastball. Don't let anyone tell you that you can't hit it outside of the infield on a 90-foot field. Continue swinging, continue working. Eventually, you're gonna get stronger. You're gonna continue getting better. And then one day, everything clicks, and you make this great hit, and you go, that's what I've been working towards. So don't ever give up. I hope that helps you out. I hope it inspires you. Check us out on the Epstein Hitting Online Academy, Rich Lavelle. If you want to become a better hitter, that's your first step.